Hello, it is Direct Mail, Monday, November 18th, 2024. Steve Cypress here, getting a little shade from a palm tree here on the grounds of the almost brand spanking new Hilton Hotel in North Scottsdale, Arizona, attending an all day event with a whole bunch of uh, AI consultants to us, mostly small business owners and entrepreneurs, some to larger corporations, but I gotta tell you, I am totally excited by all kinds of strategies, tactics, tools, how to use them, which ones not to use that I'm learning here from uh, not just the sessions, but especially the networking in between. And I uh, cannot wait to share that with my clients and with my prospects. You can get on the phone with me uh, by going to AIGrowthWizards.com. That's my company where I help people just like you, small business owners and entrepreneurs, to really maximize the use of AI. Uh, most people are dipping a toe in the water. Hopefully you're using it a little bit, but I can almost guarantee you're not maximizing it. I almost no, talk to nobody ever who is. Uh, there's a survey done recently, only 2% of companies are using AI to the maximum, and that probably skews very much to larger corporations uh, who are the early adopters, and they've been using AI for years because they hire real technical people. Now AI opened to the masses a couple of years ago. You just speak English to them. The tools are easy to use. You ought to be using the right ones in the right way. I can help you do that. But anyway, it's Direct Mail Monday, so I'm going to share uh, two pieces today. Here's one that I was planning to share because it's real brief lesson here is this mailer I received from the United States Postal Service last week. And it's all about uh, Christmas there. I love this cover photo where father and daughter are getting some mail. And uh, they got a snowman there with basically no snow on the ground, uh, which means they used every ounce of that snow to make that snowman. And then uh, snowman didn't even melt at all, even though all the snow went away. I digress, of course, it's fake snow sprinkled on the ground and fake snowman. I wasn't born yesterday. And then I also love the inside photo. So I did open this up to see what was going on as I fumble and bumble, holding the camera, the phone with one hand. Here it is. So there's the, oh, now it breaks apart. So there's the happy father and daughter wrapping up their Christmas presents. And in the background, I love it, there's the Christmas tree and the Hanukkah menorah. So we are attempting to be all things to all people. And of course, small business owners, uh, lose out when you do that. You really want to be something very specific to a very specific group, but that's not the main lesson today. It's the fact that news came last Thursday, the report that the U.S. Postal Service lost nine and a half billion, billion, billion dollars uh, last fiscal year, almost $10 billion. And that's a lot. Not only is it a lot, but the year before they reported a loss of six and a half billion. So holy cremoly litter on the grounds of the Hilton. For people that thought six and a half billion was astronomically stupid to be losing that much money, they said, oh yeah, hold my beer. Next year, we're going to lose nine and a half billion. So what does that mean? That means this is a government subsidized uh, uh, service. I was going to say business, but obviously a business would be out of business operating this way. It's a government subsidized service. So the, the uh, defenders of the U.S. Postal Service losing billions every year are like, hey, it's not a for-profit business. We're not UPS or FedEx or DHL or any of those. We are a service. Well, that's my question. Are you taking advantage of that? Because you certainly can't. I mean, they just announced another price hike for the first-class postage, but are you taking advantage? Because you certainly can't send a letter or a postcard across the country to arrive in a few days for less than a buck. Are you kidding me? Like try that with any of the other delivery services. So really, are you taking advantage? We're here on Direct Mail Monday. Are you using direct mail in your business? It's easier to make big money with it than ever before, mainly for the reason that people aren't using it. I mean, I don't know, uh, you know, I got a whatever hairs I got left, kind of gray hairs. So I'm dating myself to back when every single business used a direct mail, you almost wouldn't think about not using direct mail. There wasn't social media yet. We're talking just 20 years ago. And yet now everyone's like, well, social media is free. See, I throw up some posts, I throw up a page, and I put up some photos, and 
I put up my menu to my restaurant, blah, 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 blah. I don't use direct mail anymore. Well, for that reason, mailboxes are practically empty. You have the full attention of people when your mail piece arrives. And not only that, but speaking of this postcard, they feel like it's Christmas. So look, I got some personally addressed to me and it's talking about my wants and needs and who I am, because hopefully you're targeting your marketing efforts and people love it and you get a great response. Second, I'll share the piece real briefly uh, that my beautiful wife, Michelle, put on my desk the other day. And I said, honey, because she always puts the stack of mail on my desk. And I said, honey, this one's for you. What are you doing? It's from the Red Hat Society, which uh, my mom, uh, my, uh, my beautiful wife, Michelle, and her mom, started living with us, she's not doing too well with the uh, Alzheimer, dimensions, uh, dementia, whatever it is. Uh, she joined the Red Hat Society to have somewhere to go with her mom and meet some, some other ladies and uh, maybe make some new friends for her and whatever. And we ho even hosted a, an event for them, a lunch for them uh, about a year ago. I asked my beautiful wife, Michelle, hey, it's been over a year. I thought they rotate and do different people host every month. And she's like, well, there's more than 12 people want to host it. but. That was kind of cool seeing all the red hat ladies come over in our backyard by the pool. But uh, here's this mailing from Red Hat Society. And my beautiful wife, Michelle, said, yeah, I already went through it. I thought you uh, this would be good to share on Direct Mail Monday. So let's dive right in and see what's in here. It was opened by my beautiful wife, Michelle, but I haven't seen it yet. And so we got two pieces. We have a letter and we have an insert. So let's check them out one at a time. We'll start with the letter. I'll be real brief. I'm sure there's lessons here. Oh, I was going to say it, what to do and what not to do. I'll tell you right away what not to do. Back of the letter, totally blank. I'm pretty sure the more you tell, the more you sell. The Red Hat Ladies is a big society. They've been around for years. Plenty of things they could have put. Now my my, my arm is getting tired. I'm on the phone here. It's heavier than you think, isn't it? I will uh, switch hands. That's the solution. Uh, so... Oh, it's time. Uh, so first of all, personalized. That's done with variable printing. So a million of these letters go out or half a million or however many members they have. And uh, each one gets a personal name on the top. And I noticed it was a windowed envelope and I did uh, have her cross out. She did, she crossed out the address on the bottom. But if you're printing the name on the bottom to show through the window envelope, might as well also print it at the top because Andrew Carnegie said in his book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, right? What's the uh, favorite word of everybody? It's their own name. So people love reading Red Hat Society greetings, Michelle, instead of just, hey, member. Uh, it's time to renew your Red Hat membership. Why renew, blah, 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 well done. Here's some benefits, benefits, renewing is easy. Here's how you do it. Uh, and then they have a, uh, a, perf a scissor, it's not perforated, but the dotted line to cut this off here. They didn't include, at least didn't come, maybe my beautiful wife Michelle got rid of it, but I don't think so. Didn't include a self-addressed return envelope or even a you know posted page return envelope. Uh, the way you do that, you take the number 10 envelope and you're mailing out, you insert a number nine envelope with your return address. You go to the postmaster at your local post office and you get the indicia on there that you'll pay the return postage, but no, uh, they just tell you to mail it to them and uh, put on your credit card or enclose your check and check off what level of membership, uh, but then nothing on the back. I'm pretty sure they could have had all kinds of photos, testimonials, how much fun it is, what kind of benefit people have gotten, how many friends they've met, and how much fun they've had, and how they couldn't live without it even though they thought they could and all that kind of stuff. And then the insert, uh, sip, sail, and celebrate. So, Red Hat Society Travel.com, another good lesson there. Uh, have a separate URL. You ought to have, you know, multiple URLs for your business. So, if you have people, you know, here's one. Uh, of course, they have Red Hat Society.com. They probably have Red Hat Society Renew.com. Uh, I could go back to there and check what's the, if they even have a website to go to. Yeah, right now it's just Red Hat Society.com. But, they are smart enough. Excuse me. Are you seeing the ridiculous ball top of my head? Sorry about that. This blew away in the wind. Uh, but they're now promoting a cruise. And you see they have a separate URL for that. Red Hat Society Travel.com. 
and four options for the cruise for their 27th birthday bash. So you can uh, want weekend and seven day cruise or just the Pacific Northwest cruise, I guess without the party or a San Francisco weekend or just the birthday party itself without staying over in a hotel, I'm guessing. So very cool. Give people four choices of how to attend your event. Various VIP levels, regular level, all the benefits and bonuses they get with the different levels and, and watch what happens instead of just people wanting to attend your event. Give them an option of a VIP. You know, the uh, study show, whatever you're offering, you ought to offer a VIP option. 20% of people always go for the VIP option. That's why you'll see on most airlines, they'll have a first class section. I know they don't on you know, Southwest or Spirit Air that just, I think today or yesterday announced they're gonna go through bankruptcy and restructure their debt. Um, but 20% uh, of the people study show will take that VIP upgrade just because that's the way they see themselves. That's how I live. I always stay in the best hotel and travel first class and I drive the nicest car and I wear the nicest clothes and we out at, eat out at the nicest restaurants. And, uh, they'll pay more even at the nicest restaurants for the premier table seating. Uh, they'll pay more at the, even a five-star Ritz-Carlton Resort. They'll pay for the suite or for the president's club level or whatever. So lots of good lessons here and I'm sure there's more. But uh, that's enough. That'll do it. We're here on a lunch break. Oh, now I see I let another part of this U.S. Postal Service mailing blow away. We don't want to litter the grounds of the practically brand new beautiful Hilton Hotel in North Scottsdale, Arizona. I highly recommend. Well, I don't know anything about the rooms, but if you're in the area, this is a really nice place. Anyway, that'll do it for Direct Mail Monday, November 18th, 2024. I'm getting back to the AI consultant conference that I'm at. All kinds of great stuff I'm going to bring to my clients and to my prospects as well because I do free consultations and I help people out right on the call, which means even though you don't think you need it, you might want to have an open mind enough to get on the call and uh, prove me wrong. Test me whether you'll get a tremendous breakthrough benef benefit just from getting on this consultation call, even if we never do anything further and never do business, which I will say, if you've ever done any kind of, well, any kind of sales or client acquisition or customer acquisition at all, you think uh, a, a larger percentage of people that do a consultation uh, uh, become clients? Of course not. That's a small number. The much larger number do this free consultation and go off on your own and benefit a tremendous amount from it. So I'm not trying to tell you not to become a client, but the odds are you won't, but the odds are for you unbelievably if you get on a free consultation call with me i'll help you really get a lot more juice out of ai than you're doing now in your business i can guarantee that and that'll do it for direct mail monday november 18th 2024 i think i already said that thanks for being here today live or watching on the replay i appreciate all the comments uh concerns positive negative all the feedback all the likes all the shares all the subscribes all that kind of good stuff that all the algorithms love and I will catch you back here again tomorrow on Topical Tuesday. Until then, from sunny North Scottsdale, Arizona, over now. Bye-bye.